your perp back with another video and man we have a lot to break down in this second episode of season four of attack on titan the final season if this is your first time checking me out hit that subscribe button and follow me on twitter at perp 420 and don't forget to hit that like button man um i have a playlist in the description below i did a live stream with some of the homies shouts to k-dot shouts to swag kage and belied we do some interesting discussions but you know um definitely check that out i'm going to do another aot live probably next month when there's more episodes out but let's talk about this episode man there's a lot of information a lot of reveals a lot of things that i was speculating coming true with the jaw titan we get more information about the warhammer titan but let's start from the beginning where you know you have the marlians i guess the head of the military of the uh, marlians they're trying to think of a way to you know regain power they're kind of somewhat defeated but you know zeke we learn about zeke only having a year left with the beast titan so they're going to pretty much try to retake paradise island and get the founding titan that's this was what this episode really was about so it's interesting to see this perspective on the marlians and just how they treat the eldians this was very fascinating you know the kids that we follow you know colts gabby and falco they really look up to people like reiner pick gaudiar and zeke they are pretty much looked at as war heroes but speaking of which let's talk about reiner real quick because he's definitely going through some ptsd um they're going to have to go back to paradise island but before i get back into zeke and just all these different characters if y'all notice in this episode that aaron is there and i said this in my first episode review that jean was the dude that ca was carrying that newspaper at the end and if you pay attention to two scenes in this episode where they're on the dock and you see it kind of pan out you see a guy with long hair that's aaron and where falco was kind of like um looking at a dude with long hair while one of the generals was kind of messing around with the Eldians, kind of scaring them a little bit. That's Aaron. The dude with the long hair is Aaron, which got me to think, got me thinking like, man, they're just sitting back waiting. They're learning their enemies. They're learning the environments and they're waiting for the right time to strike. And I cannot wait to see that moment, which we'll probably not get there till like probably like episode five or six, maybe. But I love the way that they're teasing that. But anyways, going back to Reiner. Reiner's really definitely slowly having a hard time, you know, coping with this. He's kind of having flashbacks on being on Paradise Island. You know what I'm saying? And we come to find out that he's related to Gabby. So that kind of confirms that they try to keep these Titan powers within you know their bloodline it's also interesting that i don't think zeke knows that he's of royal blood and it's interesting i'm really liking what they're doing here with the different perspectives now let's get into the jaw titan real quick because when he's having a uh, galliard i'm pretty sure i'm pronouncing that right or let me know correct me in the comments below he has a conversation with reiner saying like you know if i would have took on the power of the armor titan and this would ever happened and i had this theory that ymir did eat uh the jaw titan and that's why she turned back to uh to a human and now that galliard has the jaw titan back i i like that he's able to see her memories and you know he kind of calls out reiner for you know always being saved by a different person every time which was really interesting. Um, I like Galliard and Pick's kind of relationship. It kind of seems like they they're a little bit uh, a little bit closer than we think. Also, I liked how 
after they get done in this war they get to we get to see all their different families and stuff like uh zeke and his grandparents are still alive and they're kind of still brainwashed and whatnot and i cannot wait i really hope that we get some more interactions with zeke and aaron because they are brothers well half brothers and i want to see that interaction i want to see what's going to go on with these other characters so they have pretty much a year to obtain the founding titan which they, i don't think they realize that the enemy well their enemy is already there and they're just sitting back waiting i can't wait and we have more information a little bit more information on the warhammer titan that's the titan that you saw in the trailer with the, uh the white titan with the hammer uh i can't wait to see that and it seems like the tibbert i think that's how you pronounce that family's name the tibberts they're the family that kind of uh controls the warhammer titan they're kind of like the rich really wealthy family they live in mansions and they're going to help try to obtain the founding titan so that's pretty much zeke's plan to kind of you know make things right before he has to pass on the beast titan's powers to colt and also i'm really enjoying flau uh flauco's whole entire you know personality how he kind of questions what's going on he's kind of like the only one that's not really with the brainwashing but reiner definitely tries to kind of keep him safe and make sure you know he just stays in line even reiner i think questions his loyalty to marley i think a lot of characters over time are going to question themselves and i cannot wait and because i see what they're doing here you know they put in that whole touching moment of all these characters meeting up with their families and stuff and i think it's they're all in for a really rude awakening let me know how you guys feel about this episode yeah there wasn't that much action but we definitely got a lot more story and a lot more backstory on a lot of these different characters and man pay attention throughout this episode because i feel like they're going to tease a lot of different characters that we're familiar with like aaron is at least in this episode twice and i really like that you know uh they're te slowly teasing his character i wonder if he's gonna have any int uh, interactions with uh falco and maybe kind of see him as like an ally but oh man i cannot wait till next week this week the week shit's gonna kill me but stay tuned for you know an aot live somewhere in the near future check out my review next week and let me know how you guys feel about this episode but until next time i'm out